In this video, I'm gonna give you an in-game explanation and guide on how to breed your dinosaurs to stack mutations and how the new mutations work in Ark Survival Ascended. This is our end goal right over here. Now, previously I made a guide on how to do this using basically um, the Photoshop to draw the illustrations of like, you know, how breeding works. So if you wanna get a full in-depth guide that explains just the bare basics of how mutations work, I recommend checking this video out, but the one that I'm gonna do right now, this video in game, is going to go ahead and show you everything you need to know from within the game. In my previous video, I used a special tool called the Tech Binoculars. These ones over here, just like this. And when you go ahead and you use this while looking at a dinosaur, you will see all of their stats. For example, if we look at the very top row, we get 330 health, and then there's a zero, which is its base stat, and then a second zero, which is its mutation counter, how many mutations it gets. Each mutation will add a two over here. And if you stack mutations, it will go two, four, six, eight, up until a total or a maximum of 254. After that, the mutations stop working. And the final zero is for every single time you go in your dinosaur and you press this level up button over here. Now, in case you didn't know, the first zero and the second zero in Ark Survival Evolved were actually the same number. In this game, they are separate, which means you can pass mutations separately instead of using just the base stats, which we're gonna show you. But a lot of people were saying, how do you get the tech binoculars? Now, this is uh, Ark kind of uh, made this really difficult because this is actually the final reward for beating one of the hardest bosses in alpha difficulty, so yeah. Those binoculars are not gonna be super easy to get unless you're using a mod that does a similar thing. Instead, what you're gonna do is you're going to tame, for example, a low level male at the beginning of the game. Doesn't matter the level of the dinosaurs you're taming to breed for mutations. This dad over here you can see has 330 health. And in this case, we're also gonna be looking at the melee damage because these are the stats that we wanna focus on. I suggest writing the stats of your dinosaurs that you tame down on a Excel spreadsheet and never, ever, ever press the level ups because the level ups do not get passed on to babies that you breed. So the base stats for this dire wolf are melee damage 132.5%. Now go ahead and get yourself a female, the opposite gender of the base one that you have. This one also doesn't matter the level. I do highly recommend though that you breed a couple of these until they have the same stats. For example, like the mother of this one has 330 HP as well as the melee damage of 132. So you can see here the stats match exactly which is gonna make this easier. If you don't do this, you will have to memorize the stat values for both the mom and the dad. And when the babies come out with a mutation, you'll have to see, is it higher than the moms or is it higher than the dads? Or is it the same as both of them? A mutation will actually add an increase to those stats. It's also a good idea to get a bunch of females for your male. So you can put your male in the middle, just like this. And these are a bunch of moms all around it. And it, they will all breed with the single male. The idea is to breed until you get the mutation that you want. In our case, we either want health or melee damage. Now, if we're looking for a mutation in melee damage and we look at the stats of our parents here, you can see they are both 132.5. The baby will have a mutation which will change the color of the dinosaur in some way. You can see here in this case, it gave it purple, purple claw feet, paws. That's what they're called. And I've named this Sun Melee 1. So I know that this is a male. We're only gonna try breed males so that we can replace the dad. And we know that this has a melee mutation for the simple fact that it is two levels higher than it was before. Instead of being level one, like it's mom and dad, it is level three. So it's got two levels higher. It has two mutations. And this increases its melee damage to 144.1, which was much higher than what we had previously. Now, essentially, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that dad. We're gonna keep the moms. We're gonna keep the dad over here. I don't recommend killing the dad off just yet. We're gonna go ahead and take the son with the first melee mutation, and we're gonna go ahead and breed him with his moms. So now we're gonna breed the son with the melee mutation with the moms. The moms have zero mutations. I highly recommend never breeding the moms for mutations right until the very end. Make sure all your mutations are only on the male. The reason for this is if I go into my son over here and I go to ancestors, you'll see here the 
mutation counters on each side go up to zero out of 20. Now a mutation will always have the chance of falling on the male or the female side. But every single time you breed with a female that has zero mutations, all the mutations from the mom side will actually move over to the dad side or the male side over here. You can go up to very, very big numbers as long as you keep the right side on zero. If I go ahead and I use the tech binoculars, you can actually see here, if we look at the melee stat right over there, it says zero for the base stat. It says two for the mutations because we've got two, we got one mutation that adds two stats, which almost counts as if it was two base stats. Now you're gonna breed these until you pass on this mutation with one melee mutation. And then the baby has to get another melee mutation to like land on top of that. It, it starts to become like a process of, of chance. Eventually you'll get the melee mutation to stack and you can see here we have Sun Melee 2 because this has two melee mutations. You can see it's got orange claws right now, which is the change that we got from the mutation. And if we go ahead and we look at its melee damage, it is now 155 instead of 144 like its previous dad, the Sun Melee 1. So like you did before, you're gonna take this new Sun Melee 2 and you're gonna go ahead and breed it with those same moms until you can get the third mutation for the next son, which in this case is son melee three. And if we look at him here, you can see he has melee damage of 167. You can see he's starting to get nice and beefy at this point compared to what he started at. If I go ahead and I open up the binoculars, you can see here, this is shown by 167 on the melee damage, zero base stats, six mutation points, which is actually three mutations and zero added levels. You'll also see if I go to show ancestors, we have the two mutations on the male side, and then this new one landed on the female side on the left. But once we breed it with a clean female with zero mutations, this one will move over to the right hand side and it will go over 20 and you can go up to like 80. Actually in the previous game, you could go up to like negative like trillions and it, it would like break the whole thing and you would still be able to get mutations, it was weird. The only problem is if you end up on 20 over here and 20 on the left hand side too, then you will no longer get any stat increases when you get mutations, so beware. So where you can see the six here by the mutation counter, that can go up to 254. If you go over 254, it actually stops working. At least it did in Survival Evolved. I actually don't know for this game because uh, mutations takes forever. Even with sped up stats, this took me about like two, three hours to replicate. Okay, so now that we know we have three mutations on this melee one, now pretend this was like 127 mutations, it was maxed. And we wanna go ahead and pass this on to a creature that has a much higher melee base stat because our base stat for this is zero. So we have six mutations, but we have zero base stats as you can tell. At this point, you're gonna get to the end of the game and you're gonna start taming max level 150 creatures or dinosaurs. For example, here I have a high level female mom over here that has 46 points into the melee stat. If I go ahead and look at here, you can see it's 46, zero, zero. The melee damage is 399. You can also track this in here, 399. Compared it to this male that's also level 150, it has a melee damage of 329. But this one has the higher health. It has 41 points into health, whereas the female only had 37. So essentially we're gonna breed these two until you get the perfect creature that has both the health and the melee of those two high levels. So we have the 41 health and the 46 melee damage onto one creature here, a perfect male. And then you'll keep breeding until you get a male and female with both the highest health and the highest melee damage with zero mutations at this point. They must not have any mutations. You're just trying to level the stats on both of them. You're gonna go ahead and try and make as many females as you can because like the moms of the previous mutation line, we're gonna make a bunch of clean moms, but with the high stats over here. So we're gonna go ahead and back this up into this little spot over here. You'll see all four of these dire wolves over here are perfect. They both have the 41 health and the 46 melee damage, the highest stats that I could find in the wild, for example. From this point, you're gonna grab your creature that has the mutations. So in this point, the sun with three melee mutations or 127 if you have the, the weeks to spare. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this with those moms with the high stats 
So as a quick breakdown, you can see here, the sun with melee level three or three mutations got 167 melee damage, whereas the moms here have 399. You're gonna breed these together until the mutation passes across onto the stats with the moms, but keeps the mutation counter from the sun. So essentially we're taking the six on the mutation counter over here. You can see it's zero, six, zero. We're gonna move that six onto the mom over here that has 46, zero, zero. We're gonna change this into 46, six, zero. So 46 base stats, six mutations, and zero level ups. The way you can track this is by looking at the melee damage of the mom or the female. You can see it's 399. We breed a baby between these two. And eventually you will get a perfect tame that has the perfect stats as well as the mutations. If I go ahead and look at this one over here, you can see its melee damage is 433, which is much higher than the 399. If I go ahead and I use the tech binoculars, you can see here, I'm not tricking you or changing it up. We have successfully passed on the 41 HP, the 46 melee damage. The melee damage is 433, as we saw, and you can see there six mutations has passed across, and we're keeping the green color with the, the orange um, feet, claws, paws, word. And that is essentially how you're gonna put mutations onto the perfect stats that you might tame later on in the game. But at this point, you might be asking me, but what if you want health as well as melee damage? How do you add health mutations as well as melee damage mutations? Now, the way you'll do this is straight back to the beginning. Instead of breeding for melee mutations, you would breed for a health mutation. So this is a son from the original, original level one dad, the very low level dad and we managed to get a health mutation on it. And you see here, if I use the binoculars, you can see it's zero for the base stat, two for mutations, and zero for level ups. It has a health of 462, compared to its dad, who only has a health of 330. Very low compared to the, the new son. The new son gains a lot more health just from that one mutation. Now let's say for interest sake, this health mutation was also 127 mutations into health. Like we had one for melee, we have one for health. So how do you mix the two males together without using females with zero mutations? The trick is right at the end, you can use a female. If you recall the perfect moms with the 41 HP and the 46 melee, the like the best stats with the son with the highest mutation counter in melee damage, we're gonna breed a baby there until we get a female that has the highest melee, the highest health, as well as the melee mutation counter, which gives you this daughter over here. This is just a rough example who has the high melee damage of 433. If I use the binoculars here, you can see the melee damage is 46, mutations is six, and the level ups is zero. Now with this female, you're gonna breed it with the male with the health mutation stack. So for example, this son with a one health mutation stack, if we went ahead and we bred it with the daughter of the melee mutation counter, so we're mixing the male and the female of the different mutation lines to make a new baby that you can see over here, the mutation stats, it will get the health mutation as well as the melee mutation. If I go ahead and I look at it with the binoculars, you can see here, it's got two points into the health mutation counter over there. And in the melee damage, you can see it has 46 melee damage and the six mutations across. So you get both the health as well as the melee damage mutations. However, from this point, you're probably going to have well over 20 on each side because you're interbreeding left and right using a female that has mutations. So using this one to breed to get more mutations is impossible. You will have to breed with the male, the direct male with the health mutations, or the direct male with the melee mutations to increase the mutation stacks as high as you can get it. 254 is the best and highest you can get it to. And that's my basic in-game guide of how to stack mutations and get mutations across with all different things that you might need to know. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys around in the next one.